In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the roots of a polynomial using the factor theorem. So we've got a polynomial, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6, and we're given that p of 1 equals 0, and we want to solve the equation p of x equals 0. So really, we're given that 1 is a root of the polynomial, and we want to find the other roots. Okay, so p of x equals 0, if we substitute in the expression for the polynomial, that just becomes um, the polynomial, the x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 6, that is equal to 0. And in order to solve this equation, we'd ideally like to factor this polynomial. Um, so that way we can just use the zero product property and set each factor equal to 0, which is a lot easier to solve. But factoring a, factoring a cubic is pretty tricky. Um, so how are we going to do this? Well, well, thankfully, we have that p of 1 equals 0. And according to the factor theorem, since 1 is a root of the polynomial, x minus 1 is a factor of the polynomial. So that means we already know one of the factors. Um, so why don't we write this down? So x minus 1 is one of the factors. And now we know that the next factor, um, whatever x minus 1 multiplies, has to be a quadratic. And quadratics are a lot easier to solve. Um, so quadratic, we'll just write in quadratic, and we'll fill that in in a bit. OK, so quadratics are pretty easy to factor. But first of all, what is the quadratic here that multiplies x minus 1 here? Um, well, in order to find that, we can just divide our polynomial by the factor x minus 1. And we can just use synthetic division to do that. So take that root 1 and put that on the left corner here, left top corner, then put the coefficients of p above. So there's 1x cubed, then minus 2x squared, then minus 5x, then plus 6 is our constant. And now we started off just by writing a 0 in the first column. Now we add down the column. 1 plus 0 is 1. Then 1 times 1 is 1. Then add down the column. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then multiply. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And then add down the column. Negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6 and then multiply 1 times negative 6 is negative 6 and then add down the column 6 plus negative 6 is just 0. Okay so these tell us the coefficients of our quadratic and the quadratic would just be then 1x squared then minus 1x and then minus 6 and then no remainder. So this here is our quadratic that we're going to put in for there. So let's go ahead and write this down again with the quadratic inside. So x minus 1 times the quadratic x squared minus x minus 6. That has to be equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and continue factoring this quadratic. Um, so write down the factor x minus 1 first. And then what does this quadratic factor into? Um, well, there's an x, an x. Um, negative 6, that suggests 2 and 3 for factors because they have to sum to, uh, to negative 1. So we'll have a negative 3 and a positive 2. That way, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. 2 times negative 3 is 6. Good. All checks out. And now let's go ahead and use the zero product property to set each factor equal to 0. So zero product property says that the solutions would then be x minus 1 equals 0 x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0. And these are all easy to solve, either x equals 1, or x equals negative 2, or x equals 3. So that's our solution set, 1, negative 2, and 3. Here's another example which is pretty similar to the previous one. The difference here, though, is that now we have a fourth degree polynomial. We have x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus 21x squared plus 22x plus 40 equals 0. And we want to solve this equation given two solutions of the equation. The solutions are x equals negative 1 and x equals 2. But we're going to approach this in the same way that we did in the previous problem. We're just going to say, let's let this left hand side here, let's let that be the polynomial p. So that this equation is really just saying that p of x equals 0. We really just want to find the roots of this polynomial. And we're given two roots. Um, the solution x equals negative 1 corresponds to a root 
um, p negative 1 equals 0, and solution x equals 2 corresponds to root 2, p of 2 equals 0. And so we want to factor this, um, this, this fourth degree polynomial, and we have two factors according to the factor theorem. Factor theorem tells us that since p of negative 1 equals 0, then we know that x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. Remember, you just flip the sign on, on the root here to get the factor. Negative 1 goes to positive 1. It's kind of like x minus negative 1, so that turns into x plus 1. Um, and then p of 2 equals 0. According to the factor theorem, that tells us that x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. So why don't we use these two factors to break down this polynomial into more factors using synthetic division. So first of all, we're, we're, let's focus on this factor x plus 1. So we'll have x plus 1 here. x plus 1 will be a factor. And then we'll have another factor, which is a cubic. And that's going to all be equal to 0. So let's figure out what that cubic is. Uh, we can just do that using synthetic division here. Put in the root on the top left, negative 1, and we'll put in our coefficients, 1x to the fourth, then minus 2x third, then minus 21x squared, then plus 22x, then plus 40. Now let's go ahead and start it off with a 0 here. Um, so adding down the column, 1 plus 0 is 1, then times negative 1, that gives us negative 1, then add down the column to get negative 3, then multiply by negative 1 to get positive 3, then add down the column to get uh, negative 18, then multiply by negative 1 to get positive 18, then add down the column to get 40, and multiply by negative 1 to get negative 40, and then add down the column to get 0. So great, so now this is telling us the coefficients on our cubic, it's just 1x cubed, and then minus 3x squared, and then minus 18x, and then plus 40. So that cubic is going to go in for our cubic there, and then we can write the equation again. So this is just x plus 1 times our cubic, times our cubic x cubed minus 3x squared minus 18x plus 40, and that has to equal 0. Okay, great, great. Now let's use our second factor to break down this cubic a bit. So we've got x plus 1 is a factor. We also know that x minus 2 has to be a factor. Um, so x minus 2 has to be a factor in this cubic here. So we can write this as x minus 2 times some other quadratic expression. And again, we can just perform synthetic division to figure out what that quadratic is. So let's go ahead and write down um, our, our root here. Root is 2. And we'll write down the coefficients of the cubic. That's 1x cubed, then minus 3x squared, minus 18x, then plus 40. And we'll go ahead and perform synthetic division to divide that cubic by this linear factor. Let's see what we get. So start it off with 0 add down the column, 1 plus 0 is 1, then multiply 2 times 1 is 2, add down the column, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, multiply that by 2, you get negative 2, add down the column to get negative 18 minus 2 is negative 20, then multiply that by 2 to get um, negative 40, and then add down the column, and you just get 0. So these tell us the coefficients in our quadratic. So just 1x squared, then minus 1x, then minus 20. OK, let's put that in. So x plus 1 times x minus 2, and then times our quadratic, x squared minus x minus 20. That has to equal 0. And let's see if we can factor the quadratic anymore. Um, let's write down our, our two factors here, x plus 1 and then x minus 2, and then looking to factor the quadratic. So it has to multiply to 20 and multiply to negative 20, sum to negative 1. Um, well, 5 and 4. 5 and 4 will work. Uh, one of them should be negative, 
uh, to sum to negative one. So big one should be negative. How about negative five and then positive four, put our X's in. Great, that works out. And then that has to equal zero. Great, so now we can use our zero product property to set each of these factors equal to zero. X plus one equals zero. X minus two equals zero. X plus four equals zero or x minus five equals zero, and these are easy to solve. It's just x equals negative one, x equals two, x equals negative four, and x equals five. So great, so this is our solution set. Solution set is negative one, two, negative four, and five. And there we have it, we're done. Now we see how to use the factor theorem to help us find remaining solutions to polynomial equations if we know an initial solution. In the future, we'll also see how to use the factor theorem to solve for unknown coefficients of polynomials.